Greetings, Commanders. This is Commander Atlas Rand, and they want to make a quick video telling you on how to find places to go mining for merits. So the last video showing that mining for merits was quite profitable. A lot of the comments came in saying, well, how did you find this? Did you just get lucky? I can't find anything in my power that's like this. Oh, what's the process? So I want to show you what I did, and it's going to be using Inara, which is a tool you all should be familiar with. Inara is a great tool that everybody that plays elites should be using regularly. So let me show you the process that I used. What we're going to do is initially uh, go to the main Inara site. From there, we're going to click on commodities. From commodities, we're going to do a f I want to sell. We're going to type in what the commodity is. I've been mostly mining monazite, so that's why I put into commodity. You, you can put in a starting system. Now, generally, let me just flip this off. Um, giggity. All right. Uh, generally, you want to just do a uh, start with the map. Pick your power, whichever one that is in here. Turn the others off. Make sure all this stuff is turned on. And then look to see where is your power located. Like if you spin this around, you can kind of see in three dimensions where the power is located. Pick a midpoint. Like that looks pretty much middle-ish. It's a little to the side, but it's not too bad. Maybe this guy's closer. So that's probably pretty close to the middle. So I would maybe put in Meow Thick Thick Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Put that as a starting point. Uh, let me go back to here. All right. So, um, in fact, why don't we do that? I'm going to copy that name, put it in here like so select it click on view additional options this is the important part now select the power that you're with make sure you're not searching in somebody else's power you you have to be in your own power to do this uh so i'm gonna do it for yuri grom and then i would put in a thousand minimum units because any less than that and there could be price fluctuations and make sure you turn off fleet carriers because when you sell to fleet carriers you're not going to get merits and then do a search this should show you the systems that are closest and have the highest buy prices now you can see that there's about 10 10 of these that are listed at over 700 uh, and then the rest of them are at the 400 or less range so you don't want to sell to these you'll get fewer merits so really you want to limit your search to these top 10 here so all you do is you click on the first one. The first two are going to be in the same system, by the way. So we can kill one system with one click. Click on that. Then click on the name of the system. Click on bodies. Now when you get here, instead of just scanning and reading all this, all we're going to do is do a control F and we're going to find the word ring. And when we look for the word ring, it's seeing zero as the result for, for rings. Um, you're not seeing this because for some reason the search feature is not showing up, but I just hit control F, typed in ring, hit enter, and it's showing me that there's zero results for the word ring. That means this whole system does not have any rings, which means you can't mine in that system even though it's paying a high price. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back, I guess, three back here. So that takes care of that one. Those are out. Next one, Kappa. Click on that. Click on Kappa. Click on bodies, do a search for ring, zero. There are zero rings that it's finding in the web page for Kappa. So we go back, go back three. Next one is Gebel, which just happens to be the one I'm sitting in and you'll see why. Click on Gebel and click on bodies. Do a search again for the word ring. Oh, look at that, it found ring four times. So there are four rings in this system. There's an icy common, a middle rich common. Next one is another icy, another middle rich, then another icy, and then a rocky, and then the icy and the metallic. Now, I happen to know that the place that I'm going to be able to find uh, monazite is going to be in a rocky ring. There's only one of those. That means Gebel CD4 and the ring uh, on that system. So either the inner or the outer ring, we'll see when we get there, is going to have that particular 
uh, mount of Zite on it. Now, it, uh, there's also no guarantee just from doing this that you're going to have a hotspot. Um, you can also do a search for hotspots, but what I find is when you do a search for hotspots, it generally limits you to only pristine systems, which would be the ideal. Like, ideally, this would say pristine and not common, because common is not going to result in nearly as many um, finds of, of uh, glowing, beautiful yellow rocks. Uh, but, you know, common that pays well is still better than a pristine that pays poorly. Uh, so let me go back and one more. There we go. If just for fun, let's do a search on both of these last two. So we go to LTT, click on name, click on bodies, search for the word ring. There are zero rings. So that one isn't going to have any mining out possibilities on it. And then there's one last one at over 700 and that's this one. Click on that, click on that, click on bodies, do a search for ring. And we do have a ring or belt. We have an icy, we have a rocky. All right. And we have an icy and a metal and we have another icy. So this is a potential right here. Uh, Zargus 3 uh, has a rocky. And it's actually a little better than the place that I'm currently in, than Gettle. So this may be a better place to go. Um, now let's go and check back here. So back three. So that was Jenner hub in Zargas and they have a total demand of 1600 and they're paying 73, uh, 734,000 per rock. So this is a good price. It's just a little bit less than the rest of these. But the demand is just barely okay, which means literally within a couple hours, this could be zero as people come in and sell their wares. Um, may still be worth going there, but I'm going to choose to do the safer route. And all three of these have a, um, all three of these stations in Gettle are buying. So that's really 3,400, 3,400 and 2,400. And I think I know why this one's 2400 is because this is the one everyone's going to sell to and not going to the other two. So really this one is more like 7,000 plus the 2400. So about 8,500, 8,400 or so as demand that you can sell here. So this is a safer bet to go, but also Zargus might be a slightly better in terms of efficiency simply because there is a uh, better quality belt there. Although again, a better quality belt is not necessarily a 100% guarantee that there will be a hotspot. So you're going to have to check on that. Um, distance is fine. So it's 19, 19 light years from wherever I'm searching from, which is this system. That's the middle. That's not too far. I'm actually in Gettle, so let's redo this search real quick from Gettle. I want to see how far away this system is. Or Gebel. Uh, so that was um, this system, right? Jenner Hub and Zargus. Yeah, so that's at 1685 now. And it's also, if I hover, it's giving me a warning. It says price may be lower than displayed if you have more than 421 units. There's no warning here. There's a warning at 615 units here. So again, this, the Gebel is a safer bet, but Jenner may be, uh, Jenner Hub uh, on Zargus may have a slightly better belts, which could results in faster harvesting of the materials. Um, all right. So, and this is 90 light years away. Okay, that's a bit far for me to fly and check it out, but maybe I will. At the end of the video, we get the important part out. So, uh, let me fly. Well, you, you know how to mine guys. I don't need to fly and show you how to mine. 